Hey, what's up, guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So I'm just simply jumping this brief, show what's going to go down, and then we'll kind of go from there. So this was actually just a basic, like, German map. I saw it. I was like, eh, that's good enough. So, and, and the map's not super important, but the content and actually the dogfight, you know, that's the most important part. So this right here is the uh, 109K4. And like the P51, which I'll be flying, as you can see with the red flag, it will start at 4,000 meters, just like me. And what did I send him to? He is not a player. He is a skill of an ace. So, of course, every single one is ace difficulty because if it was any other one, it would be too easy, honestly. These, these ace pilots are phenomenal pilots in, in their respective aircraft, and they know how to use it. And you'll see me get, get, at certain points get my crap pushed in because I've never flown the P-51. I'll kind of get into that, um, at least in this game, and I'll kind of explain that in a minute. So then... I can show you the P-51. So I'll be flying the uh, P-51D 30NA, 1944. Fun plane, at least from when I played it. Uh, we'll start at 4,000 meters as well. I set my skill to ace. I don't think that affects anything. Maybe G-tolerance, but I was struggling with that, in all honesty, uh, during the gameplay. So conditions, good. So there will be some clouds. Height at 1,000 meters. 1600 and i think that's really it i mean 1945 you know so that's really it this i uh, just a thrown together brief most like a majority of my things are so i just try to make it on level playing terms get a level playing field 1944 1944 i think that's fair and then we'll just kind of have to see how the thing goes down so i'll shut up let's get into the gameplay A51 Mustang. So, one, my throat's a little bit messed up. Weather, I've been bedridden most of the day. So, just bear with me, I might not talk as much. So, the P51 isn't really my favorite World War II aircraft, of course. I love the Messer Schmidt, you know, 109. I love that aircraft, or at least the design and the characteristics. It's much more my style. P51 is not really my style. The uh, Asiatic Pacific aircraft of World War II is, is more my style. The uh, the Wildcat, Hellcat, um, Corsair, though those are all my my type of aircraft. So I love that stuff. I love I love the at least the American uh, naval side, the Air Corps, Air Air Force. Not really my thing, but P fifty one's okay. And I and I thought this was actually kind of fair. As I was like, ah, interesting mashup. I thought about doing ME two six two, but then I was like, uh, no. Um, so I'm just kind of pumped these out. I'm literally throwing ideas against the wall, being like, ah, oh, that sounds fun. That sounds fun. So, um, yeah. So essentially in this gameplay, it's pretty simple. Um, I somewhat know the characteristics of P-51. Of course, it's not, you know, uh, set in stone every single game, but most of the characteristics kind of stay within between games. I'm going to get a really good shot right here, and I hit him. You know, 650 cals with 1,800 rounds. You're gonna hit something if you just throw a burst out, but uh, I'm not. I'm not a huge P-51 guy. It's, it's not really my style of combat. Um, not necessarily. I'm not. You know, I'm not against boom and zooming, but um, oh, it's just. Um, it's maybe it's the characteristics, but it's not really my thing. And then boom, I blow up right here because I'm still trying to figure it out. I literally have never flown this aircraft. So, next round. So we lost the first round. Of course, I always do. And like the past few times I've done this, I've always died at least in the first round. I think it's like a lawful requirement at this point that I lose the first round is what it is. Of course, I'm just trying to figure out this aircraft. This is literally the first time, probably in a year, year and a half, when I first got the game, uh, probably longer than that, probably at least four years ago, whenever I picked up the game, uh, that like I touched the P-51. Cause like when I first, got the game I like oh, I tried out literally every single like stock aircraft that the game had and I was like oh this sounds oh this looks cool that looks cool um, 
but I'd, uh, I uh, 351 is really not my thing. If I do anything, it's more Pacific stuff, or at least uh, it's either Pacific stuff for Americans or like German stuff. It's usually 109. I like the 190. I like the BF 110, but the uh, 109 uh, model. I think I think it just has to do with my like flying style. Not necessarily a turn fighter, but a aggressive aircraft. Um, so that's just more my style. And you can see, like right here, especially in these dives, I'm, I'm hyper aggressive, just trying to get my 50 cal rounds out. I, but I know when to break off relatively, you know when to not pursue. Um, problem is, I have a lot of problems over shooting because of how amazing the engine is. So if I ever need to get out, I just throw the throttle in the corner and then I just get out. Well, it doesn't really work super well against 109 because, like. Yeah, I mean, it, it's got a decent engine. It's not as good as mine, so like overshooting problems uh, becomes apparent. It's like, I think it's a, I think it's a 20 mil uh, cannon. It will mess me up if it hits me. I mean, the thing about this game is that like, if you get hit with a cannon round, you basically just explode. Or at least like, if they get like a decent shot, just how the game is. Uh, I'm looking at mods, maybe that can change, um, but I'm just trying to get shot with cannons, just trying to land some 50 cal rounds on them. If I can hit with the 50 cal, I win. You know, so. And I'm also not used to 50 cals a whole lot, even even though I fly like uh, the other like American Pacific, I haven't touched them in a while. I hit them right there. I think I got a little touch right there. I haven't I haven't touched them in a while because I've been doing the Battle of Britain series, so. Maybe I'll get back into it. I've, I've been thinking about starting another campaign, uh, career campaign. I think it'd be uh, fun. I'm debating between, uh, actually, yes, yeah, so I'll ask y'all. So if you made it to this point in the video, should I do like the Finnish campaign where like, they defend against Soviet Union, like the Winter War, or should I do uh, Russia uh, fighting against Germany? And then, and then I'll pick the campaign from there. Let me know in the comments, like legitimately, I think that would actually be pretty fun. Another campaign, not that hard. I'm just lazy. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm throwing, I'm throwing rounds out right here. Um, trying to figure out, see, so I'm not being as bold as I usually, as I usually go. So, I just try to roll around. A lot of these engagements are actually really long, just because I was go no go go no go and I, I was concerned just about getting shot down because like the Spitfire was a tough opponent but I know how to fly the BF-109 you know I had already done multiple or uh, played hours in the Tomcat whenever I did my Tomcat versus MiG-28 video side you know how that aircraft operates even with the Tomcat a lot of it was pilot error with the 109 it was pilot error Actually, every single time it's a pilot error. <laughs> none, of it's, none of it's really aircraft's fault, or like the aircraft was incompetent. Not saying I give myself overpowered uh, aircraft, it's just I misappropriate it. And that's like the simple explanation. But I just don't know the characteristics, at least in this game of the P-51. That's I mean, it's very, it's, it's a very smooth aircraft. I'm just, like leading my shots, I expect the bullets to curve a lot more. Like right here, it's probably the easiest time to get a kill but I just simply uh, screw the pooch on it. Like I simply just screw the pooch on it and uh, I just didn't make my rounds and then, you know, he does something like, you know, roll under and I just completely lose myself in that sort of moment and it just makes everything worse. So I'm just like, uh, don't die, don't overshoot. That That's like my main concern is not overshooting. Just throwing 50 cal rounds out, trying to connect with something, and then, bam, my greatest mistake. I do a stall. I do stall a lot in this aircraft, but I love the P-51 in that it's very, very forgiving with its stall, like, recovery. You know, some aircraft, you stall, and there's just literally no recovery. You have to uh, punch out. You have to bail out. But, like, the p 51 is actually pretty forgiving when it comes to that. Um, so right here, I just literally throw my throttle in the corner and I try to get away of course the 109 you know not as 
powerful as engine, but very much still capable, at least in preventing a, uh, a gross uh, separation. Not not very large. So, and then I flip around right here, and he just hits me, and I lose. I, I just lose control. And there's, I just literally have no like. I, there's nothing I can do to save the aircraft. So I'm like, God, oh, you know, dang it. So I just bail out right here on purpose because I knew my pilot would die. Yeah, he was going too fast. So he wins. Okay, I lost both round one and two. I usually win the third round, but I just didn't round this time. I just screwed up too much. I wasn't in the right mindset. I've been battling a migraine as well because of the weather. So um, I actually had to take a break, like a long, like I took a long nap between rounds uh, two and three. So this one was a lot better, at least performance-wise. I was like mentally uh, like ah. Uh, because I already had the footage, I was like, I might as well use it anyway, and be honest. So, because I'm not, like, if I lose, I'm going to, I lose. So we merge right here. I stall, but like a rolling stall, really easy to recover. It's not that big of a deal. Um, and I, and I'm trying to not give him a shot. Or at least when I see those tracer coming, like, I, I'm decently coordinated. So I stall right there, I keep stalling. And I kind of do this on purpose, because he's all over me, you see the tracers. I don't remember getting hit. Like, I was listening to the audio. Like, I don't think I get shot at all. And that engagement, he overshoots. I mean, just fantastic. Of course, I think I did kind of screw up right here and try to do a curve. And I black out, like, really bad. And that was my biggest, like, fear, was being too low to the ground and stalling out. But I recovered. And I was like, oh my gosh, thank the Lord. Because, like, that, yeah. Like, uh, whenever I test, I just test fly the P-51, kind of get the uh, test flight. That was very much a problem, was flying the aircraft and knowing, like, what speeds at certain, you know, kilometers per hour when it's safe. So, I throw my 50 cal rounds out in this merge. I think I do get some rounds and hit them, but nothing super sufficient or nothing uh, too particularly like damaging still very much okay fire right there don't make anything and I stall again easily recover and then we kind of do this dance where we keep on merging trying to get into a head-on situation and usually ones that one of us like pulls off or like tries to get uh, guns on. Of course, I have 1,800 rounds, and that was my biggest thing, was, like, realizing I don't have to be as conservative with my ammo is because, like, I have 1,800, and it's a 1v1. You know, you either use it all, or you, like, you what you essentially waste the other ammo. It's not like you're, you know, flying for two hours, and stall right there, usually recover. Um, the stall window is actually pretty dangerous, especially whenever you're in turn fight switches, the P-51 can do it, but it's like, do you really want to? So it's kind of like one of those things. So I fire some rounds out right there. I'm throwing rounds out. I'm being pretty liberal with my ammo. Just send it out. I get 1,800, you know. So if you throw, throw 50 cal rounds out, you're going to hit something at some point with 1,800 rounds. If you can, well, <laughs> there's a couple uh, words that can be thrown at you for uh, incompetency. Of course, I won't say those words out loud, but I, I, I try everything not to overshoot in this round and uh, be safe, I guess. Of course, in the very beginning, I was acting pretty crazy, and that was more out of desperation than anything because he cannot win this round. So I hit him a couple more times right there. So I think in the previous merge, I hit him and caused him to smoke, and I think I've done aggressively act over these uh, merges that I have uh, damaged him to, like, to the point that... Uh, his aircraft is basically a sitting duck. So, I mean, look at a turn like that. I'm sure, I might not commit, connect too many rounds, but I'm just throwing them out. And with the state he's in, there's not a whole lot he can do. I just have to make sure I don't 
uh, overshoot, especially with his lower speed. So I simply just get behind him and just start shooting because, like, I might as well, especially when I try to learn the, uh, the lead pattern, the uh, lead range. So whenever he's, because I do have that tag on him, and that assists me a lot. Um, so it makes my life easier. So I just start throwing rounds out. I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna like I'm gonna do something exactly right there. Start throwing rounds out, sweeping up, down, up, right. So. Eventually, at this point, he does crash and explode, and I catch a tiny bit of it. Just massive, beautiful explosion, and this is a round I won. I was super relieved because then it actually means less than three rounds. You know, three rounds. You know, it's it's more than that. It's four rounds, and I've prevented him from winning, like right now. So he's got two on me, and I got one on him. So we got to go to round four. Well, I run round three. I got my crap pushed in round one and two. And this could decide the game. Of course, you're looking at the length. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe you skip through the video. I don't know. But, so we go for a merge right here, and I just start throwing rounds out. Because I understand from last round that if I just continue to throw rounds out, I can hit something. And maybe I can win. You know what I mean? I, I can damage it enough to cause it to become evasive, or not necessarily evasive, but uh, escape oriented, as in uh, a route oriented to uh, retreat. So we get another pass right here. So that's my biggest thing is like head on or uh, merge type uh, engagements, um, sort of situations where we go into head on sort of uh, spots. And then kind of go from there to at least cause me to do damage. Now he's he more accurate because he's got nose guns, sure. Especially when uh, they got we get a lot closer in the merges. But at the end of the day, like two 13 millimeters and a 20 mil cannon doesn't stand a chance to you know 650s at least in the firearm like the uh, firepower department. So um, unless you're just a surgeon with the 109, which this ace is somewhat proven he, he's actually a pretty decent shot. Um, not really good at leading. That was the whole thing about the 109. Um, kind of get into a turn fight, you know. Even if it's better turner, um, anything other than an ace, he's going to struggle to hit you because of his nose and his uh, gun sight um, and where it's kind of placed. But right here, I know he's on my tail, but I try to cause him to turn especially if I can convince him to waste uh, a lot of ammo, especially cannon rounds. So those cannons, at least what I checked like with the uh, K4, is like cannons are the blue rounds. And uh, the enemy's actually pretty liberal with those. So that's actually really convenient and nice. So you can waste whatever, like 100, maybe 120 rounds at most. What he has in that cannon, 60 rounds probably. I, I haven't checked. Um, so he doesn't have a whole lot of ammo he can use. And he has the two 13 millimeters. I can survive a couple, you know, 13 millimeter rounds. He can't survive 650s, 450s, 250s even, if I can get him in good spots. So, we go on another merge, throw rounds out. I think I hit him right there. At least I got a decent amount of shots. I remain mostly safe throughout this uh, sort of engagement. Um, just kind of getting that nose down and coming like it can turn pretty well for what it is it's just you have to be careful with your speed or else you start uh, g-locking and then you lose control of your aircraft depending on your orientation that can mean certain death like at this altitude if I g-locked could very much mean my death which means the end of the gameplay so so he pulls up in the sun I can't see but I don't want to pull up because I always I always keep an eye on my speed um, and especially my degree is that ultimately uh, decides uh, how fast or how you know uh, what my speed does so I always I always watch my degree and altitude as well of course that's important relatively um, well if you're trying to gain speed and what you do especially if you're willing to risk stalling um, 
a certain altitude if you know you can recover. So it, it gets to the point right here where he's trying to run away. And I'm just throwing rounds out because I'm not, I'm not super concerned at the moment. I've already touched him at least a little bit. So I'm just like, uh, just throw rounds out. Maybe, maybe you'll hit him or at least force him to do something stupid that allows you to shoot him later. And I think right here I didn't realize that my, uh, I didn't have my thing on like full throttle. So I was like, you know, how am I not catching up with this guy? Why is it taking forever? Pretty sure I didn't put in full throttle. And that's why I didn't catch up so fast. Because this is a really powerful engine. It's, it's, it doesn't goof around. It's, it's not, you know, cheap, you know, it's not a crappy engine. So, I don't think I put it in, like, full throttle mode. Maybe I did that, perp like, on purpose that time. Like I said, I was still somewhat battling a migraine. Uh, I wasn't super rational. Especially in my actions with a, you know, uh, aircraft like this, which I'm not used to at all. I'll get some more packs in I'll, I'll make videos with it for sure. Um, so. We did this roll right here and I get right on a six pretty easy. And I start throwing rounds out. And then we get right here. And then it is, like I, do, I love doing inverted shots because I'm actually pretty good at it. And during that swipe, I must have hit, I think I hit his elevator or something uh, important to that effect where then it caused him roll under. And it crashed in the ground. And then that's a W for me. So that means round five decides. All right, round five. This decides whether I take a, a hit to my ego or I prove that I'm a somewhat competent pilot in a aircraft that I have little no experience with most likely with combining all of the uh, test flights I did um, just for fun all the engagements may be 30 minutes at most so you merge right there after having an intense head-on situation with 50 cows and then we are very much extending out we don't we, we aren't cutting in really hard we're very much keeping in mind our speed and I'm very much uh, minding how fast I turn especially to prevent a uh, g-lock scenario so this was actually a non-hyper uh, aggressive merge, very passive aggressive, and it's uh, sort of it is sort of intentions of rolling and more pulling up instead of uh, pulling down and trying to uh, get to a head-on situation with me. So he extends out further, of course, because we got speed and I'm making sure I don't g-lock, but I get that nose down so that when I pull up, I still have a decent amount of energy, especially if he's more favoring a head-on situation. Um, and, I mean, I. And the P-51 can climb relatively well, uh, even if it's not max speed. So, take another uh, shot right there. We don't really hit each other. It's 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 a uh, very much a throw rounds out. Maybe you get lucky sort of situation out of fear. So, he's he gets his nose on me right here, and I purposely throw my rudder and uh, kind of cause this sort of uh, pseudo stall, and and then that basically prevents him from getting a shot on me. So. We both flip around right here, and we are just, this This is it. I mean, we're gonna win, someone's gonna win this merge. So, fire, and usually he favors the down, and I favor pulling up, and we just smacked right into each other. So what does that decide? Well, I'll tell you what that decides. And ultimately, it's up to me, so. Okay, I bet you're wondering, Ace, why, did, well, why is it a draw? Well, because if I go six rounds, it's even, and that allows for a tie anyway, right? Because, shoot, if I, if I win round six, right, or, or we don't call that match at all and we have to redo, I just, I just think that's stupid. And, and the idea of calling it a draw actually seems kind of fair. Um, and honestly, I didn't want to rematch because I'd probably lose. So it was one of those situations where I was like, you know what? We both win, you know, it, it was, is this, uh, of course I'm a competitive individual. It just is how I am. But I was like, yeah, I, I can deal with a draw. You know, he wins two, I win two. And then that one, I mean, we both died. None of us, we, not one of us survived. None of us, one of us didn't even bail out. If, if I crashed into him and I died and then 
he stayed alive and he bailed out or whatever, then he would have lived because he lived on. But since we both died, I mean, I kind of consider it a point for both of us and there's no point in having any more rounds because these videos already get super long. So I was like, you know what, let's just call it a draw. So I had fun with this video. Uh, I, I've been kind of sick, so kind of forgive me for that. So I can't, you know, I can't invest too much time and I want to be consistent with my upload stuff. So hopefully y'all enjoyed me screwing around and sort of this more laid back style. Of course, I know how I get really in depth with the 1v1 combat stuff. And this was actually nice to just take a step back, breathe and just not worry about it too much. Just have fun and just listen to me. It's just listen to me call myself an idiot because I, I, I barely know aviation. So it, it's just fun. So hopefully y'all enjoy the rest of your day and like, subscribe to all that fun stuff. Peace.